here. Um, this summer I made a bunch of these books and I shared that video on how to make them and I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with the book. So I have um, four other ones here that I'd like to sell. Then I have two other ones that I'm going to do a giveaway for my birthday and then I have three that I'm giving for gifts. So I just want to give you an idea of what you can do with these books. So you see how, you know, the cover is just the cover and I, I didn't really do anything in them. All I did was put um, magnets in them and the package of ephemera that came with the paper. I put some tags in them so there will be tags for you to write on. Every page has got tags in the front and in the back. Now this one has writing, you know, like drawing paper, art paper. And then it'll have a tag on the side here. So at least three tags per page. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six pages in each book. So um, what I'd like to ask for these is $10 because um, it's going to cost about $5 to ship it. So I'm going to include some of the pages from the original book, you know, to cut up, use any way you want, all the ephemera, and then, like I said, tags for every page. Now I want to just show you what I'm doing with my book so you get an idea. First thing I did is the front cover, I maj podged. I saw these little kids somewhere or printed them off. I'm not sure now where I did it because I did it a while ago. And I had a bunch of these butterflies. I saw these numbers and that's the year I was born. This is a little uh, girl that I printed off the internet, I guess. So sometimes I just cut things out, you know, because I like them. And I know there's a glare because it's mosh posh. So then on the inside, I had um, drawn this for another swap or something. I can't remember, but it says the worst enemy to creativity is self-doubt. The worst enemy to anything, as far as I'm concerned, is self-doubt. So I put that in there. And what I'm doing with mine is kind of collecting things that um, inspire my spirit. So I put this ballerina lady with wings on there and I put a bow and then this one the one I have has these magnets here comes Sophie these magnets that they aren't that good the magnets I put in the books to sell are the ones that are you know you get the plus and the minus and they hook much better that's kind of why this was I always do one to start with of anything and then change it. So in here this first cover it says as I unclutter my life I free myself to answer the calling of my soul and that's Dr. Dwayne Dyer. I really really like his work. Then this one's Eckhart Tolle and that's another person I really love to read. Be silent be the silent watcher of your thoughts and behavior. You are beneath the thinker. You are the stillness beneath the mental noise. You are the love and joy beneath the pain. So I, I just thought that was really good. And then I was shopping in um, up north this summer, and I kept seeing this hand, and I kept thinking, boy, that, that hand makes me feel very peaceful, and I wondered what it was. And it's actually called, well, I, I um, zentangled this one, and I wrote... Um, Hand of spirit, give me peace, protect me from my ego, I think I wrote there. Um, yeah, because, I don't know, I thought it was very peaceful. But then I looked it up, and it's the Hamsa prayer. The Hamsa prayer says, "No, let no sadness come to this heart. Let no trouble come to these arms. Let no conflict come to these eyes. Let my soul be filled with the blessings of joy and peace. And and I love that, and I thought it was really beautiful. The other thing I found out about that hand I kept seeing, and most of the time it has an eye or a heart here, is the Christian belief is that it is, oh, who is it? Hannah, Hannah, uh, Moses' wife's 
something like that. I don't know. If you Google um, H-A-M-S-A, -A, you'll find out all about the hand. And I just thought it was really fun to learn about that. Then this is just a, um, like an open piece of paper and just wrote some thoughts on there. Another tag. These are things that make me happy, and I did this while I was up at the cabin. So those are some of the tags I put in here. Um, there's a tag, like I said, on the side. This was a little note that my son and his girlfriend left. We love Lynx Lake Loons and Linda. <laughs> so they left that note, so I thought, oh, I'm going to put that in there to remind me. Um, this one says it's all about me, and then I wrote, I am creative, we can do it. Um, and this is just like a little uh, meditation that I wrote down. Another one about my being grounded and the root chakra. So I, you know, I haven't done a lot in the book. I think this is probably all I've done, but I did take some of the ephemera that came with the paper and put it on there. And this was just a, uh, a doodle that I did that I saw. Well, this is the lotus flower, and it uh, symbolizes how we can overcome all obstacles in our journey towards enlightenment. So I drew that and put that in there. Um, so that's just how I'm using this. There's some more ephemera in here. And I just wanted to give you an idea. See, this says family, so maybe I'll put pictures in there. And that's the way I'm using my book. So I was just thinking, you know, I made so many of them, and I have three I want to give away to friends, because I know they'll use stuff like this. Um, and then I had two I wanted to give away for my yearly giveaway on my birthday. And, and then I had these that I want to sell. So this is going to be book number one. I thought these were cute post-its that I got at St. Vinny's. That I think they're for, you know, like a teacher because it says tape. I wish I would have had them when I was teaching and I wouldn't have had to make all those things. So this would be number one, and that pen's dead, and that's the way it looks, it'll come with this, like I said, some ephemera, and all the pages will have at least one, probably two tags in them, and so that's the way that one looks, it's ready to be decoupaged onto and played with, number two is kind of has the same kind of binding, this is the original book. Again, it's going to have, this is the way the inside looks, it's going to have some pages. Then this one I put, I made a pocket in the front here and put all this different ephemera in here. I really like this one. And then it's got the magnet, and then again it's got all the pages with the tags in it. This is really a fun one. So that's book number two. This is book number three. This is another fun one with some, um, <clears throat> now this is uh, duct tape that I got and just some decorative tape. Again, the old Reader's Digest book. And I, I'll see if I can put a link to how I made these or when I told more about them. Some paper, the ephemera. This is the front cover. I used some graphic 45 paper for that. And then again, the pages, six pages with pockets and tags in them. So that is number three. And this last one's kind of a fun one. I used some duct tape that had smiley faces on it and then some washi tape and some more duct tape or, no, that's washi tape, too, I guess. 
with more smiles on it. This one has the peace signs in it, and you know, you can write things that make you feel peace or whatever you want. Then this is the way the inside looks, and a lot of them I covered the whole inside. This one I left because I kind of like that. And then this is the paper that I used, again, the Graphic 45, and then this is all from that big paper pack. I still need to put some more tags in this one, but it will be filled with tags when you get it. And it'll have the pages and the ephemera pack that goes with the paper that the book's made out of. So this is number four. Okay, so what I what I'd like to do is sell these books for $10 a piece, like I said. They are handmade by me. Um, it'll cost me almost $5 to mail them, and that'll be included in the $10. So, if you're interested in anyone, please leave it in the comment below, your name, which book, and... Um, and I'll try to get a hold of you. It'll be first come, first serve. And then later I will have, well, I can just do that with this one too. These are the two that are going to be in the giveaway. This one looks like this. And it has the same six pages. It has tags and it has the ephemera. So that's one of the giveaway ones and then this is the other one. This one has, this is duct tape and then this is real um, burlap and then hearts and then this is the way the inside looks. Sophie's here again and it has a pack of ephemera and the tags. Okay, so these two are going to be in a giveaway for my birthday. So, if you would like to purchase one of the books, please leave your name and which number you'd like. Like I said, they're ten dollars, and you can't have the kitty. He doesn't. She doesn't go with it. Um, <laughs> and if you'd like to be in entered for the giveaway, I have two of them that I'm going to give away on December second because that's. My birthday and there'll probably be a few more things in the package on my birthday all right I hope I hear from you thanks for watching bye bye